What's going on, everybody? C4, welcome back to the channel. And today we're here for episode 16 of our Madden 22 Philadelphia Eagles franchise rebuild. I hope you're having a great Monday. I had to just be why oh. people. Some people don't like rage content. Some people do. I know a lot of people do. Uh, this episode, the last one, this 42-28 loss, very much a rage episode. I needed the whole weekend off. Luckily, Saturday we're able to get my draft classes uploaded. If you are playing next-gen Xbox, you're able to use both my 2022 and 2023 draft classes. Go check those out. That video is up. But I just, I couldn't play Madden all week. I just had to unplug. Luckily, we got a big victory for the Eagles over the Denver Broncos. So it's like a victory Monday. Positive thoughts. The bounce back we needed. Uh, but now i got to catch up on the uploads here just a little bit. But if you watch that loss against Detroit, where they scored 35 unanswered in the fourth quarter, where it literally just felt like, like, a, like a, someone flipped the switch and everything I did was a fumble interception from the first half where I dominate. It was, it, it's a game that happens in Madden. Every every now and again on all Madden, even not all Madden, like people are just reaching out to me on social media because I, I made a tweet. I was just like, does this happen to you? I made a little bit of a fun of like a Tim Robinson sketch. But it, like it happens. Like some, every now and again, just there's, a, there's insurmountable bullshit. That is just going to be damn near impossible to beat. And, and that's what happened to us on the last. It happens. We got to move on. And we got a very tough game ahead of us. Week four in prime time against the Rams. I'm still, you know, I, I think we can bounce back. But because I just ended it, we still have the fallout from that loss. We have three starters that got themselves some points here to uh, upgrade. We have Devin Bush going on to a 79 overall. Keeping him a scheme fit. Plus three man coverage. Plus two tackle. Sounds pretty decent. I mean, he's very good. Skill set suits exactly what I want for my linebackers right now. We got Josh Sweat, who's been quiet. Again, at least he's a scheme fit. He has the contract. Not really much we can do with it. That, that's probably the one area on my team that I'm disappointed in. We need, like, a franchise edge rusher. Josh Sweat, not really getting the job done. Derek Barnett, not really getting the job done. Brandon Graham, more of his last hurrah than it is. Wow, he's kind of leading the line there in terms of sacks. But Devontae Smith has been amazing we're this upgrade here we got him up to an 80 overall and okay we're gonna we're gonna fudge the numbers slightly because as of right now we're the only team that have played a week three game but uh you know like the american elections and all that stuff we're gonna we're gonna just do whatever puts us in the best light zach wilson through three games did you know fuck man two bad picks against the lions we were betting perfect we were eight touchdowns no picks until that fourth quarter against the lions uh, you know, outstanding. 800 yards on the dot. Running attack, over 104 for Miles Sanders. Obviously, he missed the game with injury, uh, but he's coming back uh, better than ever. You know, looks you know look like he's slowly getting back up to speed against Detroit. I'm expecting full-on 100% Miles Sanders against the Rams, but look at Devontae Smith. 16 catches, 368 yards, 6 touchdowns, 122 a game. I will kind of quick look at the defense, which has been very, very poor. So far, we got two sacks for Javon Hargrave, a, a pick there from Darius Slay, Bush, and Hughes lead the team in Amos. I mean, they, so these guys are getting tackles, but Devontae Smith has been absolutely insane. The connection between him and Zach Wilson is something that should get everybody excited. As he's, I even think once we sim, he's still going to be number one in yards, most likely number one in touchdowns. Higgins and Mike Evans are there. That's exactly the kind of production we need from Devontae Smith. I got the Eagles Super Bowl. We got, we got the Super Bowl attire here because, yeah, this is a very winnable game. The Rams, you know, they, their window's gone. They went all in. They went super hard. Now the team's back. They still had Aaron Donald, Jalen Ramsey, but, you know, they're not the same Rams team. This is the end of their window. This is like what they're, this is what's going to happen eventually with the Rams. The way that they're building their team, there's going to be that, like, that window's closed and you got to start the rebuild. So we are eager i mean again though like the lions weren't good and they beat us the giants two weeks ago weren't good and they so i mean anything could happen we got a press conference here qb1 check in with zach wilson coach your team has struggled out of the gate so far and that usually happens a lot of blames usually have on the quarterback who needs to step up it's honestly the team zach wilson eight touchdowns two picks it has very much fallen on everybody else. So we beat the Rams. I don't know what kind of boost you get from that. I assume it's just base XP boost. Maybe additional stat points. I still need five more stat points because I have pretty much highlighted the blueprint that I want to work on these talent trees. First things first, you always want the final piece. Second thing is you want to work your way down here and get a full 
three additional weekly strategy focus player slots, which I'm working on, but I need five more. And then once you're done that, you know, by all means, figure out whatever you want. We don't have any X factors on defense right now, so we don't really need to be spending points there. Player personnel, I think this is a very good one as well. Feels like home. Scheme fits have an increase, uh, increased interest in signing through free agency. Um, but, I mean, ultimately... You know, I, I definitely just always will prioritize, and I guess maybe it's just the fact that I, hey, I'm the, I, you know, I'm a rebuild guy. I want things that help develop my team long term, and, and those are the kind of things that I want to spend all my staff points on. So we need five more. If we get a win this week, by all means, we will very much be able to get that five. But what do you have for weekly goals? And it also helps us earn our staff points. Uh, we got to never reach fourth down. It's probably not happening. Six yards per carry. Don't allow a passing touchdown, five plus sacks. Win the game for the scenario. We get three additional. And those are winnable. Those are winnable options, winnable goals, winnable targets that I think we can hit here. Uh, let's take a look at the weekly strategy. What are the Rams good at? How can we target the Rams? So they still have Stafford, 82. Uh, they are not throwing the ball. Look at that. Rams offense is horrific. So to stop the Rams offense, uh, yeah, that's true. Let's defend the medium pass. Anytime we can do that, that's usually. In our best interest. Defensively, they are very bad as well. What is going on? I mean, for this, now it's just like we gotta. You know, we gotta. Let's play. They, they, they blitz. I think that's actually what you, they blitz the eight, like a top 10 blitzing team. They're not good at stopping the run. Hmm. I'm gonna say, let's. Honestly, let's run it out. Let's run it inside on them. It's going to be a big Miles Sanders game. And obviously for our own players, Amos, Hughes, Wes, Quez, Zach Wilson, need those two extra spots. But we go through this to make sure there's no injuries. We've had already a Miles Sanders injury from this weekly trading. So anything can happen. It can. They're always just waiting to throw a wrench into things. Nothing on offense. We're going to have all of our starters defensively. Clean bill of health. Okay, we did not get rocked. We are going to be taking on this very lowly Rams team with a full strength Eagle squad. For that, I am happy. Looking at X, look at the upgrades here. We'll just spend it on the couple known players. We got Jalen Rager. Let's keep working on him as a D threat. Big game last week. Not good enough though to get his dev trade. Uh, we were like, what? Like that was just another thing. Everything that could have went wrong in the last episode did. We had a chance. We force fed Rager, which was. I'm not gonna say it was difficult, but it definitely opened our, uh, opened ourselves up to those two interceptions that we ended up throwing, uh, and we were like just so close to hitting on that dev trait. Uh, I think would have knocked him to a star, which would have been cool. But I mean, that's his. That was his week. Now, now it's maybe time to start finding a way to get Quez Watkins involved. You know what I'm saying? Uh, for JD Scott, I think not necessarily going in his because he's, he's a he's an interesting tight end. Where I think you know we want to just get him into possession because that's going to give him more. Tight end skill sets right now, 6'7", 238. He's at, he was a tight end, right? It wasn't like we got a freak wide receiver and moved a tight end. He was a tight end, but you look at the blocking and stuff like that. I mean, he's a long-term project. We have Dallas Goddard. We don't need J.D. Scott to contribute right away. Obviously, he's going to offer a very unique skill set from a receiving standpoint, but it's all about developing players. And right now, you know, speed, jump ball, spec catch is good. Let's work on that blocking. Let's make him into a well-rounded tight end. Everyone else, let's just, you know, whatever. Thank you very much. For your hard week of practice, but now it is time to go take on the Rams. I mean, let's take a let's, let's take a quick look at the roster, just because we know the talent. I've seen Stafford, I've seen Jalen Ramsey, you know they've Aaron Donald. Where are they lacking? Like, where did they lose players that their team? Oh, that's why Aaron Donald is injured. So they have a regressing Stafford. Run game solid. Like, they, you know, they, they can they can run the ball. Cooper Cup, Robert Woods, Van Jefferson. Obviously, this was before the OBJ trade. We're releasing and stuff like that. I can't do anything about it. Uh, offensive line is very... like That's another thing, though. That offensive line, we should absolutely recap, especially on that interior. Edwards, 60, uh, 76. Brian Allen, 69. Wiley, 69. And like this has been kind of like the interior offensive lines we've been going against, and still they've been pancaking Fletcher Cox. So we need Fletch to absolutely feast here today. They're missing Aaron Donald. And obviously, like, you know, you can't really be missing Aaron Donald. Linebackers look weak. They have Jalen Ramsey, Darius Williams in the secondary. Sure, they're fine. Safeties are a work in progress. This is absolutely a winnable matchup here. An Aaron donald -less Rams. That is a gift for the Philadelphia Eagles here in prime time to get one back here. Get back to 500 and end the losing streak. So without further ado, let's get into it. 
This that Philly devil pulling up and I don't need a rental. Quick pitch to the outside, it's a house call C4 special. Take a check and we run it up. Got Quays heading up the sideline when it's do or die. We run it up, ain't trying to flex, but it's high time that the eagle fly. Face of my city for Philly, we reppin'. It's all about green when we steppin'. I made up my mind at the day that I die, but they really gon' call me a legend. You know that it's now, the time is upon us. The chip on my shoulder is halfway to heck. And they ex in the south for years, but tell them all hell. I turn the X to a weapon. This that free bird life. This that fly, eagle fly. We might tear down and build it back just to show us by design. Hey, this that free bird life. We ain't go without a fight. So go tell Dallas Washington and NY. Better watch their back as I'm. That Philly devil pulling up and I don't need a rental. Quick pitch to the outside, it's a house call C4 special. Take a check and we run it up. Got Quays heading up the sideline when it's do or die. We run it up, ain't trying to flex, but it's high time that the eagle fly. I like that our goal this week is just, like, everything is like, just win. All right, just win. It's Monday night. It's prime time. Just win. Here we go. Underneath Dallas and Goddard. Big time, easy, high percentage completion. Let's get the offense rolling here. All right, we've had, it's all been fun in games. Established a run. Now, again, he had Rager. He had his chance to get his dev trade. He did not. It's now time. Take a look at number 16. Quez Watkins. Sideline. Sideline, Quez Watkins. Big, I think, what, a 35 yards. Number 16. Let's try to get him a dev trade scenario here over the next couple weeks. Okay, we got second and nine. Uh, Goddard. We got Devontae. I mean, all these options look fairly decent. Actually, I'm going to put Miles Sanders in pass pro. Devontae Smith looking. Maybe there's a chance we actually could get Devontae his seventh touchdown of the year. Let's just scramble. Boom, we got it. Devontae Smith, two feet in, league leading. Seventh receiving touchdown of the season. Heisman Trophy winner. He's unstoppable here in year two of the Eagles franchise. Look at that. Throwing the run. Zach Wilson, ninth passing touchdown of the season. That connection is flawless. Oh, wide open. That just dumps it down to the running back. Vontae Maddox limits that. It's one of those things, man, sometimes on offense, especially like a drive like that. It's like, what difficulty are we playing? And then once we go on defense, it's like, oh, yeah, right. Forgot. Forgot the opposing team's quarterbacks always go for like 85% completion percentage. And you're kind of just along for the ride as they uh, check it down there to Bob Woods. Nice catch. Hey, here we go. There we go. Yeah. He's been underperforming, given the fact that we've known that the opposing offensive lineman he's gone against, the Giants game, the Lions game, now this one. He only has one sack to show for it. He should have four or five sacks to show for. Theron Dial now on the field. He is the best defensive lineman in this game. Needs to take it over. Linebacker. If anyone in the comments can give me like a defensive scheme that can solve some of the issues we're having, I'd be I'd, I'd give you a hundred bucks. I'll PayPal you a hundred bucks. Like, what? look at my linebacker. Like, that's compute. Like, Perfect. that's not me. That's just. That, that needs to be a tackle. It needs to be throwing a tackle on there. Making him, you know, enforcing him to break a tackle. Not just like, oh, I just didn't really feel like tackling him. Like, what? Okay, we're going to set up play action. Run has been established. Quez Devante. One of you, please. Oh, that looks. That, that worked out well. That worked out well. Yet to miss with Zach Wilson here today. Oh, he makes the first guy miss. Now we have a tough decision. What's it going to be? Fourth and three? Fourth and four. We'll do the right thing. We'll take the points. Not shank this either. Missed a kick in that Lions game that we don't miss. Good. Oh, come on, Fletch. You're really just going to let this... Again, look for a playbook. Like, I feel like I'm maybe like 425, 425 playbook. Like, just all, just, just let me be my, like, just give me the most coverage I possibly can have. 
Stop giving me playbooks that has like my defensive ends dropping back into coverage. Stop giving me playbooks where really none of my guys are ever on their guys. Like we're playing the actual Jonathan Gannon Eagles defense where it's like we'll just give them everything underneath and hopefully we kind of tighten shit up at the red zone. Big hit there. Devin Bush on Cam Akers. Third and long. Hasn't stopped the Rams yet. We've had him in third and long at least twice before. And there's been a guy wide open down the field. So let's hopefully we can change that here. Third and seven. Got Fletcher Cox gets thrown to the ground and wide open in the middle of the field. Easiest throw Stafford made all day. And the save continues. I mean, at this point, kicking that field goal, that's a loss. Usually kicking a, you know, kicking a field goal, keeping the momentum your way. You know, it's, it's not a win, but it's not a loss. And it feels like at this game here, any drive that doesn't end with seven, our defense probably isn't going to help us out too, too much. So we need touchdowns. Oh, nice. Wide open. No one there. No one there. Wide open. Higby. Hell of a route, man. Master class from McVay right now. He knows the Rams need their first win. They're a desperate team. And they are just carving the Eagles up. Is this Thanksgiving Day game? No, it's too early. Feels like it, though. And look, not one guy gets off their blocks. Too big of a moment. Steven Nelson just, you know, a little, little bit of an effort play there to knock him down the one. Oh, man, it is just... How do people play defense in this game? How do people have fun on defense in this game, right? Like, if for me, it's like, okay, I either get a sack, an interception, or the other team's just fucking pushing my shit in. Is, is, is there a middle ground to be have there? As uh, Daryl Henderson gets in there for the touchdown. Good drive for the Rams. But uh, this is just, it's just, uh, it sucks the life out of you. Have fun, you can have fun on defense, but just knowing you're, you're just delaying the inevitable when you play defense here, unless you're getting sacks or interceptions. Ah, man. I will say this. I talked about this at the last episode. I have talked about some weeks maybe putting in two games, like two game plays. If I do that, 100%, I'm just going to sim the defense. Like, that's how I'd, I would compensate. Because it's just, you know, a sack's not worth just what I have to go through. Mentally. My mental health is not worth playing defense in this game. Like you just use it a linebacker. I don't want to use it a linebacker. Good play there, Leonard Floyd. Is this is this a time that the, the switch gets flipped? And they're going to get 35 unanswered? Let's hope not. Second and 17 after the sack. All right, throw it in the turf. Pass protection just got destroyed there. What do we have here? Third and 17. I'm actually going to have Devontae run a slant just to give us that out. He's not going to be our first read. I'm going to hope Quez can whiz on the outside. We have the running back. <sighs> That's terrible. <laughs> uh. Ooh, I think that's going to be a holding. Oh, it's actually a roughing the passer on my... Uh, On Javon Hargrave. Uh, that's playing defense in Madden 22. Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay, first goal. Can we bend, not break? Let's go. No one gets off their blocks and wide open. All right. Come on, man. It's Aaron Donaldless ramps. Let's make some plays here. Go to Dally. Look at that. Breaks a couple tackles. Gets into Rams territory. A touchdown here. Almost, you almost need it. There we go. Got our first down. Burn time out. Goddard, let's go! Dallas Goddard breaks away from the safety, I think it was. Usually it's a mismatch on a linebacker, but he's a good athlete. Pulls one back here for the Eagles right before halftime. Look at that. Right in his face, makes the accurate throw. I think that's Fuller. Couldn't keep up with him. He gives the fans something to be excited. We can build upon that. It was Burgess. Let's build on this.
Oh, nice. Just wide open. That's my defensive scheme. I run a 4-3 wide open. Oh, nice. I love this play, too. Like, see? Brandon Graham dropped back into coverage. That's what I want him. No, don't set the edge. Just drop back into coverage. Hey, he's not tackle anymore. That I, I gotta. I gotta. Is there a way to check the uh, the, key, the the controller settings here? Settings. Setting. Is there controller settings? No. Game controls. Yes. Okay. What's A? On, on defense. Free play defense. Okay. No. No. Defensive engage. No. That's what. Breakdown tackle. Okay. A A's the safe tackle, right? A's safe tackle. So, on a play, on a play like that, we like we just saw. Correct, right? Like on, on a play that we just saw. Let's see this. So, uh, you know, broke down here. New, tough assignment. Nelson Island out here giving the running back fucking 15 yards of coverage. But I was like, all right, we got to just make an A tackle. Line him up. A, right here. Hit A. I hit A. Go in, line him up for a safe tackle. And I'm still hitting A. And we just decide, you know, the 4 3 wide open defense. We don't make A tackles. We either throw hit sticks or we don't throw it at all. Oh, it's a pick. Yeah, it was a bad throw. It wasn't even a bad throw. It was just a late throw. And again, you know, that's how picks happen. In Madden, when you're down, when your defense can't get a stop, you got to play hero ball on offense. If you're not scoring on offense, you know what I'm saying? Like, that. that's what happens there. Like, if we were able to run our offense, establish the run with Miles Sanders, and, you know, we hold him to a field goal there, but establish the run with Miles Sanders and not know that every time, like right now, Every time we get the ball on offense, if we're not scoring a touchdown, we're not doing everything we can to score a touchdown, and when you're in a deficit like this, it's score a touchdown as quickly as possible, you know, you're going to be open up to interceptions. And that is unfortunately kind of what's going on here. Bad decisions. And, um, yeah, I don't know. Don't have an answer. Wish I did. Wish I did. Only answer right now is just got to go into the sliders maybe, find something there. Uh, see if there's another set that I can use. Get a different defensive scheme. I, I don't know right now. It's rough. Dally across the middle. Uh, just keep going. Keep on keeping on here. There's Devontae. Keep doing Devontae things. Let's throw this one on. The, let's put it on the DC, man. The DC gets a chance to keep his job here today. If he can two straight field goals, that's okay. That's acceptable. It's better than what I was doing. Devontae. Good grab. Oh, we got Quez in the slot. That could be juicy. Quez! Oh, that is... That is a play and a half there by four. That was a for sure touchdown. Hell of a pass breakup. But Avante again moves the chance. Go no huddle. Taking a little bit too much time here for my liking. Getting the fact that... Now we're going to have to get some stops on defense. Oh, we got him again? Don't get baited! Almost got baited. Yeah, we're so pass happy, we might be able to surprise him here with the Miles Sanders run. Not really, but we're in four down territory. Uh, maybe we're not in four down territory, to be honest with you. I could totally see a scenario where you kick, you know, down 10. Kick the field goal. Play defense. You need a field goal in here if you want to tie it. There we go, Dally. Dally! Dallas Goddard brings in fourth passing touchdown of the game for Zach Wilson. Can the defense get us a stop? First stop of the game. We have yet to stop them, and we get it! Thank God. Wow. 
Handing over the defensive play calling duties has worked wonders this game. Ooh. Okay. Slants are still, let's go back to it. Let's go back to it. Slants. Watch 24. Wrap the safety up there. Could be blitzing. He is. So we absorb the pressure. Easy throw. Safe catch, Devontae. Don't open up yourself to a big hit for Jalen Ramsey. Not quite timeout territory yet. Let's get another play in here. Eight catches, 100 plus yards for Devontae Smith. Outstanding here today. I was hoping Miles Sanders would have kept going straight. It's a block. Oh, he breaks a tackle. Okay, now it's time. Time out territory on the 19. Red zone. If you know my team, you know. We do not want this going to overtime. I want Quez. Let's scramble. I want it, Quez, but Jalen Ramsey on Quez, even I'm not that ballsy right now. Get the hat trick, Devontae Smith. Slant. We have Dallas Goddard, who's also been money here today for us. Devontae! Oh! Hell of a play by Jalen Ramsey. Oh, man. I don't think we can run this. Third and three. Maybe we can see what it looks like and burn a timeout. I mean, get the first down. Sure. Yeah, actually, that makes sense. Still enough time if we can get this first down. To work with it a little bit. Take a couple shots at the end zone. Field goal still there. No turnovers. Get Devontae. Got Dallas Goddard. Denzel Mims is out there. Got Quez. All right, suicide pass. Devontae Smith, not the best play. Uh, I really just still want to pass it. I don't want to run it yet. We got for recent plays. We got slants here somewhere. Shotgun slants play. Always, we're, we're probably gonna bail the pocket immediately. Don't get baited. I could have got that was that was that was that's the same as a run. Still have to burn the timeout, and I thought for sure that that was gonna get jumped. Let's go stick, man. Let's go for it. This is a light middle of the field. This is almost like audible to a QB keeper. Like, what's going on there above Dallas Goddard? Like, two guys are becoming really close teammates. No, I think we just lost it. Snap the ball. Snap the ball. Snap the ball. Go! Let's go! Broken play. Four, fourth... Fifth touchdown of the game for Zach Wilson. Oh yeah. That's we need that. Like, see, look, look. Just shifting the thing that's not fun to, you know, we handed off the play calling duties. Defensive play calling duties today. Wasn't working. We switched things up. We gave the I took the headset off to the middle linebacker that was calling the plays. Gave it to the DC. And got two stops. Two field goals. And with that, the comeback of all comebacks against the Aaron Donaldless Rams came through. Let's go. 37-34. Oh, yeah, baby. Needed that. Four touchdowns, two picks, Zach Wilson. Picks were, eh, you know, not great. 100 yards for Sanders, 65 in that game-winning touchdown. Zach Wilson, hell, you he might get a, a, a NFC Offense Player of the Week. Eight catches, 114 yards, two touchdowns. Devontae, 99, two touchdowns for Philly Goddard. Like seeing that. Quez had that bomb. Uh, defensively, Damian Hughes, seven tackles. We had two sacks, Fletcher Cox. A couple TFLs, no turnovers. But that is as smooth and as sweet of a victory as you are going to see here as Philadelphia ends a two-game winning streak. Uh, Perfect. Perfect. 
And that's a great victory, man. We ended the two-game losing streak, get back to 500, and that's a kind of moral victory, especially with the changes that we had a little bit there for the play calling that we might be able to, we might be able to use that to get on a little bit of a run here. So for the follow from the game, we got ourselves 10 staff points, which is beautiful because we're going to be able to go in right away and go down to manage staff and earn ourselves another weekly focus training slot, which is huge. I'm not sure yet what player I'm going to give it to, but we now have five of six. And I'm excited to see just that much more development and growth. Having to the young players on our squad that have a whole lot of upside. And from that victory, we do have quarterback one check in. And it was on the team. All we had for this, you know, goal was win the game. Wasn't going to go on Zach Wilson's shoulders, even though it did with this five touchdown performance. But we won the game. We got 2,500 XP. Is that for every single player? Because if that's so, that's pretty freaking huge if you ask me. We go to two and two. We got Baltimore, which is always a very, very tough assignment. No player of the week for Zach Wilson. That is surprising. Did he get a player up, like a point upgrade? After that performance? He didn't. Jalen Hurts got one, but not Zach Wilson. Jesus. Okay. Who got player of the week? Who had better than five touchdowns and put their team on the back? That's what, that's what I'm wondering. Went to Nick Mullins. Five touchdowns. Okay, I guess Nick Mullins had five touchdowns. Nick Mullins! Five touchdowns. Goddamn Sim Saints team, man. Every every time, every year. It's like almost as bad as Kaepernick in Madden 22. But with that victory, you know, we uh, Giants are 3-1. and one. Dallas 4-0 in the NFC East. So again, we just need that victory. You got to start stacking woods. Like you're stacking wood in a, on, a, on a pile, you know? You just got to keep stacking those wins, gaining that momentum. It's not going to happen in one week, but it can happen over a five-week span if you can, you know, remain hot. So definitely have opened things up to different play calling on the defense. was much more enjoyable that we're able to getting stops there. And then what a win at the buzzer. Zach Wilson showing us right now that he is very much so worth the investment of that first-round pick that we sent to the Jets. And very much worth the hype of being everything so far through four, even though we're two and two, through those four games, it feels like we have a franchise quarterback. Feels like we have a guy that's going to elevate this squad and bring them back to a Super Bowl. But also, that could just be, you know, recency bias after winning with the last second touchdown run. And there's still a lot of work to be done for sure on the defense side of the ball. But thank you guys for watching today's episode. As always, your first time stopping by, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. Very close to 150K on the channel. That'd be a great milestone to hit. Uh, thumbs up. Love to hit likes goals. A thousand likes pretty much is consensus on all my videos from here on out. Uh, very much helps out my channel, and I appreciate you guys, all your love and support. Uh, don't know what how things are going to shape up. Tomorrow might be this Ravens game. Might be a realistic rebuild. Depends on how the evening goes with the old kids that I got going on. Uh, but, you know, we're ready to go another week. Needed that break of Madden on the weekend. And uh, luckily, we changed the play calling. Able to get a victory against the Rams. I'm feeling good. Feeling happy with the series. So let me know in the comment section below. Also, is there a better defensive scheme that we should go? Are you happy with me handing off the play calling duties on the defense side of the ball? Let me know. Get a little bit of feedback there. And I'll see you guys back in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace out.